So you might have heard from one of the presidential candidates, I don't know which one, uh, that the election is totally rigged and it's going to be stolen. And so today mm -hmm. on Think Tank, we're going to talk about some of the reasons why that's probably not going to happen. Hopefully, Mr. Yeah. Trump is watching. Despite the facts, I think I've learned a lot from Trump and that anytime things aren't going my way, I think I'm just going to say that things are rigged. Mm -hmm. Like today, on the way here, I hit traffic. I'm pretty sure Traffic's that freeway rigged. was rigged. Let me uh, just tell you. Last okay? year when I lost the second annual pumpkin pie eating contest. Rigged. rigged 100%. Also delicious. <laughs> so uh, overall, uh, around 30% of Americans have little or no confidence that votes will be counted accurately, which is obviously very That's helpful. a huge number. It is. That's uncomfortable. Is. Now here are some of the reasons that it's unlikely to be stolen. Right. First of all, elections are not federally run. A lot mm. of conspiracy theories sort of imply that like a couple of people at the top can sort of take things over. Uh, states run elections themselves. Uh, trying to twist the results in a bunch of different precincts run by different authorities would be monstrously difficult and would require a degree of coordination and hidden communication that's just not realistic in the real world. Unless they do it through emails, because if you have email correspondence, there's no way anybody can find out what you it's say in private. Totally hidden. It's yeah. Um, yeah, and and it would. I mean, it's not even just the 50 states. It's down to the county Different level. Precincts, so many places. Yeah. Now, theoretically, you could say that one of those could be rigged. Can but you imagine the group chat text? That would have to occur with oh, how many people. It would just be constant. Yeah. Like, that's just not yes. realistic. Now, uh, perhaps more importantly, if you were a Republican thinking, uh, based on what Donald Trump has said, that the election is going to be stolen, if it was going to be stolen, it's likely by the numbers that it would be stolen by a Republican. Because many of the closest states, the ones that are being battled over most fiercely, like Ohio, Iowa, Arizona, other battleground states, have Republican governors who also then appoint Republican secretaries of state to those states mm -hmm. who manage the election systems in most of the states. So theoretically, those people would probably want Trump to win rather than Clinton. And that's, I believe, 33 total states have Republican governors right now. So if it was going to be rigged, it it's be more likely it would be a Republican doing the rigging. Um, maybe that's why he's so close in the polls right now. Maybe it is rigged. Maybe. I don't think he's that close. Uh, now, that's sort of the electoral fraud side of it. Then you have the voter fraud side of it, where the actual voters are doing this sort of uh, stealing of the election, which is what Republicans have been saying for a very long right. time to justify voter ID laws. Uh, but according to Loyola uh, Law School professor Justin Levitt's analysis of, I believe, billions of total votes... Uh, from 2000 through 2014, there were just 31 incidents of uh, voter fraud actually perpetrated by uh, people. Right. And so that means that in these elections, which are won by thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds right. of thousands, or millions of votes, even if all of those incidents had been in one election, extremely unlikely that they would have mattered. Right. And they were actually spread over more than a decade. Voter fraud, where like people vote more than once or dead people vote, is it's almost so rare that it is ridiculous that we're even talking about it. Yeah, it is pretty ridiculous. It's like a shark attack happening, and before the shark bites you, it grabs you by the pussy. It's just not going to happen. It's just so rare. Why are we even talking about it? It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. It's like every vote does count and does matter, but these are such small numbers that we're talking about here that they wouldn't sway the election exactly. even in the slightest. Exactly. Uh, also, elections are held in public places and staffed by private citizens, which can be a mix of both Republicans, Democrats, mm -hmm. and independents. Right. And so it's not impossible that someone could try to get up to some hijinks or shenanigans, but they're in public but and there's a lot of other people there. But they're not all working together to, yeah. Um, and rep as I said, representative, both mm -hmm. candidates and parties observe vote counting. Now, that doesn't mean that we should never be worried about, for instance, the possibility of voting machines being able to be hacked into or right. something like that. Uh, and it's not to say that in the history of America, there hasn't been some sort of manipulation of votes or something like that. But the idea that he has... <laughs> Exactly. Which was not even really by the votes, by the Supreme Court. Yeah. Um, but the idea that he has any actual evidence to support the idea that in the future, a couple of weeks from now, there will be manipulation of the votes. He does not have that information. And so you should think about other reasons why he might be saying this. In all fairness to Trump, I mean, a lot of the information and, and facts here are, you know, supported by numbers and science and that's not something he chooses to believe. But also, in. science so is rigged. Well, science is rigged. Climate change is a hoax. So this doesn't. I mean, yeah. this is just. Woof. Yes. So, so I guess it doesn't really matter. To don't. Him. But it should matter to you, so that you don't freak out and you still go out and vote. Um, please. 
Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So these are just a few of the reasons. Obviously, if you want to do some more research, there are many more reasons why it would be extremely difficult to steal an election. But I will leave that to you. And Hannah and I will see you in the next video.